Hey guys, welcome to episode one of Road to 505. Something I wanna show you is not just my training highlights, but also who I am, what I do, who my family is, and really my, my home situation. So today we're gonna to go through my house, we're gonna meet my immediate family, my fiance, and my puppies, and, and show you what uh, the House of Moose is all about. So this is something my mom got made up for me over the past couple of weeks. And uh, that's the Team Moose brand. Um, I think we're gonna take this and put it up in the gym, um, but Super supportive family, um, who you meet over the episodes, but yeah, really cool to get little things like that. Then we have my first ever weightlifting title, the illustrious APU New South Wales powerlifting champion. But about two hours before this competition, I broke my left hand. So you can see how I don't have, I don't have a pinky knuckle in my left hand. And that's because I, I snapped that and it's underneath. I broke that about two hours before competition started. And uh, yeah, so that was probably on my mind more than winning that day. But Then my biggest title, not to intimidate everyone, my New South Wales state champion. Um, hopefully we're adding some Giants Live trophies to that, World's Strongest Man trophy set, but that's what we have for the moment. You want to introduce us to sure. your lovely fiance and the animals, the, the kids. Why don't you introduce yourself while I put them away? I don't know how to introduce myself. Introduce yourself. All right, Ashley, I'll just ask you some questions. Sure. So first and foremost, how did you and Mitchell meet? So we met at Movadi, which is a gym in Guelph. Um, I was doing my vet degree and he was still an undergrad. And I'm the one who introduced myself to him and I stand by that. So, <laughs> and that was probably four years ago. And then what's it been like watching him? I guess you guys have been together four years, so in that time frame you competed in powerlifting and then made the switch yeah. over to Strongman? Well, she, she had met me probably four months, three months I think I after just, my last marathon. Yeah, I just missed the marathon. So um, yeah, it's been great. I mean, very nerve wracking to watch someone do Strongman, not a sport I knew of, had any idea what it was like, but uh, very fun to watch and amazing to see him go from nothing to, you know, world's strongest man. And it, and it nothing, was, nothing she says. Nothing in, in strength sports, but uh, yeah, I think a really cool thing was during the World's Strongest Man, I think it's myself, his mom and stepdad were the only three cheering him on for the first event and then the end of it, the whole stadium was going wild. So very, very fun, very cool. What's probably interesting is how little I'd be able to do without the support because she makes my dinner every night. She does all the laundry. She does all the cooking pretty much. Um, and I would be underfed, um, probably under ambitious without Ash. So, um, yeah, yeah. There's always, uh, there's always quite a bit of support behind an individual sport. And then Ash, are you into any sports? Are you, uh, what, what, uh, what's your level of fitness like? Uh, yeah, so I do quite a bit of running. So Mitchell's mom and I do some running together. Probably going to do a couple half marathons this year. Um, played hockey growing up. Always been a little bit into strength sports. Got my first powerlifting belt from Cerberus the other day. So, uh, yeah, just basic health, fitness, that kind of thing. But nothing like strongman. <laughs> my the people around us give me shit because they say, "How does it feel to be an exercise physiologist with a fiance fitter than you are?" <laughs> <laughs> so Ash runs. She runs with my mom 10k at least once a week, um, and she can just kind of get up and go 10k. She could deadlift 100 kilos without much concern. So she's probably a, a much better, well-rounded athlete than I am at the moment. Bingo. And then... And uh, expert dog walker. Expert dog <laughs> definitely. So do you want to show them what's in the fridge? All these meals that uh, Ashley has carefully prepared for you. Well, she... Ashley makes dinners, but I have a company called Elements. That's out of my home gym, Athletic Culture, where we're shooting the training footage. And uh, they help me out with my lunches. So I'll get a whole bunch of random stuff from them. They got a whole variety, but that's what? probably that's probably lunches for the day. Um, that, for just today? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, that and then a, a protein shake. So we got all the supplements up here. This is great pre-workout, by the way. I'm not affiliated with them, but always worth a the crap. Then we got creatine. Creatine, absolute must. 
We've got protein powder, just very basic. Um, so those three and those three would be um, sort of my, my lunch for the day, really. Then we've got this multivitamin that's pretty full on. You gotta take like five, six pills a day. Um, I don't particularly believe in it, to be honest, but <laughs> it's something I do anyway. Um, that's it for supplements. Um, then this is, this is breakfast and meal before bed. I'll just drink a carton of egg whites. Uh, the thing is, with, with strong meat, you just have to find ways to get it in. And you gotta find the little tricks, gotta find, uh, yeah. So just, you'll just drink those, that raw? Yeah, 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 I just drink it, uh, which gives 12 eggs, uh, 50 grams of protein. And it doesn't sit heavy in your stomach like the protein does. So highly rated. And it's it's literally like skim milk. Once you get over yourself, 100% like skim milk. It is. So should we have the people comment if they want to see a full day of eating from you or what? Uh, yeah, yeah. Feel free. Comment. If you want to see a full day of eating, we'll give you a full day of eating. Oh, I love these guys. These are also breakfast every day. A couple of yogurts. Do you have a favorite uh, flavor? I see you got all kinds yeah. of flavors in there. This one here. This fruit, I don't know, it's French English. It's, yeah, strawberry and banana. Strawberry and banana, I could eat about 10 of those. No concern. Uh, what else? Ah. There's another company called Bolton Foods and they give me these lovely steaks, awesome ground beef. We got a whole bunch of individual uh, chicken thighs uh, so, Bolton Foods, hugely helpful to me as well, um, in terms of eating. That is that. Ah, oh, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms are, it will be the fuel to the 505, 100%. Bowl of Lucky Charms every morning is a mandatory, uh, which actually is also how you maintain the lean physique that I have. Uh, Reese's Puffs, fantastic, really good. And if you're Ashley, If you're Ashley, then you can have uh, Cheerios, but that's a bit boring. Um, children's cereal only for me. Mixy bowl is a special of the household, which is skinny pot, which is plain chips, ketchup chips. And it's a layer. Chuck that in a bowl, you layer it, chips, popcorn, chips. Uh, that's every night as well. So what's your weight at these days? Uh, 142, 142 kilos. I'll probably creep up to about 145, 147, uh, but I certainly don't feel the need to go up to the 200 kilos that the guys have been in the past. Uh, because you, you can't get as much from a deadlift suit if, you're, if you have a, a big gut to you. Uh, so I can get 30, 40 kilos out of the suit where I think a lot of the bigger guys can only get maybe 10 or 20, if anything, out of it. All right. This is the downside of strongman. And I've got a, a particularly large neck, and I always have. And the downside is this guy. I hate it so much. I actually don't have sleep apnea, but Ashley wakes me up if I snore too much, so I've got to wear the uh, CPAP. Then we have this lovely sign Together is our favorite place to be. We've had that for about six weeks, and one day, it's gonna go off on the wall. <laughs> for now? For, for now, at there. Then it's my assortment of free shirts. I don't think I've paid for a shirt in ages. So I got my Cerberus kit, some Team Moose gear. Um, if you want Team Moose stuff, head over to the website. It's all on there. It will also be in the description below this YouTube video. This, actually got this for me about four years ago. It's uh, one of the only shirts that still fits me properly. I actually haven't showed this yet. I haven't posted this yet, but they got me this, which is quite a little bit rude, but pretty nice as well. And that's the entirety. I have a couple of a couple of normal pairs of pants, but that's that's seriously it. I want one of these days. I want to see you dressed up. Dressed up like proper. Well, actually, if you ever wanted to come out to the golf course, I do have like little stuff like that. In fact, I've got a beautiful Bolton Foods one. So I will dress up to go golfing, but that's about it. All right, we'll hit the links one of these days. Yeah. Do you golf? Uh, terribly, but yeah. Yeah, right, right. Actually, golf is, golf is my favorite sport. 
actually by quite a margin yeah when when we uh, go through my trophies you'll see heaps of heaps of golf trophies from from 14 to 18 i was competitively golfing uh and i was in the under 18s provincial championships at 14 um i was i won two different junior golf tours i worked with sean foley who is tiger's golf coach when tiger was tiger and then uh, i gave it up for american football because that was sexy and i hated it so bad choice then i will meet the dogs yes. this is lacy Lacey's eight and she is the sweetest dog unless you're a new person in the house and she's just mostly good for uh, looking cute and having the sweetest eyes. Murphy is very poorly behaved <laughs> but he's very good with his tricks. Right? Yeah, we should probably go through his tricks, right? Spin. Shake. Up. Down. Roll. Speak. Good boy. Uh, so this is this is the office to introduce the room a bit. This is my my home office, and I'll do some of my um, team move stuff in here. I'll do some of my exercise physiology stuff in here. Uh, really, whatever needs to be done. I took my proper computer away so that I could have a little bit of time where I, I can't do everything, um, but send messages, update programs, all that type of stuff, and then. I actually got into vet school. I actually got into vet school with a 94 average in biomedical science. She got in after three years. Normally it's after four, applying against people with PhDs and stuff. So I'm actually the moron of my house, which is why it's nice when I get to the strongman world and people think I'm really intelligent. Um, so here's the degrees. That's Ashley's Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. Um, that's her Bachelor of Science. Uh, I do have a Bachelor of Science as well with honors, uh, which I'm sure she wants, but you know, one day maybe she'll go back and retrain. Um, then Master's in Exercise Physiology from the University of Sydney. I think Ashley said we met at the University of Guelph. And uh, yeah, when she was finishing up that, I was starting that, and then she came over to Australia, and the rest is history. I'm a huge Packers fan. I've been to Lambeau Field six or seven times, the best time actually, I was with my dad and um, we were driving through Milwaukee. He got really tired and I was 15 so I couldn't drive. Then we slept on the side of the road, woke up at one in the morning, drove through to Green Bay. It was about two in the morning, security came and goes, you can't be here. Well, not you can't be here, but what are you doing? And we explained we were from Canada, we're driving up, got tired, whatever. And he says, meet me here at this time tomorrow, which was Saturday the day before the game. And uh, I'll show you guys around a bit. He turns up with his family and literally takes us through the locker room. We're passing the players onto the field, the whole nine yards. Uh, so yeah, huge Packers fan. Uh, and I've been absolutely on top of World's Strongest Man to try to get me into the Packers training camp to try to do a little bit of work there. There's a chance that it happens. I actually, one of the days of Worlds, the first day of the finals, the day before I went to the social media coordinator, and I said, if I wear my Packers socks, can you guys make sure to get a few close-up shots? We'll send it over to Green Bay. And then I cut my, my shin, which you can see my shins are a disaster. I cut my shin and they have a picture of it bleeding onto the Packers sock. And so hopefully that gets me in. <laughs> this is uh, a flag that we brought to an engagement party we had uh, at Bondi Beach in Australia. Uh, we got everyone to sign it. Really cool, it was the height of COVID. We had about 30 people cancel and we still had about 65 people there, um, which is a lot of fun. Let's see if we can find some notable people. Jeff was a coach at uh, uh, Adonis. That was my first strongman gym. Well, second strongman gym. The first was a different Adonis location with Mitch, who's the guy right above. <coughs> we have Emily would be the first person you ever met. Yeah, Emily. Emily was the first person I met in Australia, and then was probably my best friend throughout my time in Australia. Um, but looking at this, is, there's so many people um, that we missed, and that was the hardest part of leaving. Is that was our entire friend group. That was everyone we cared about for several years, aside from family. Why did you come back to Canada? Um, because I want to get Ashley pregnant, and <laughs> the baby needs to be around family. And that's really it. We're getting married next year. Um, and 
Yeah, the plan was, the hope was, we could have got married at Bondi Beach at that engagement party and just had a, a person there to do the ceremony. Um, but without parents being able to fly in and all that, it turned out to be just an engagement party. Uh, but yeah, we get married next year and then have kids. And this is, the, the intention was always to come back. We were supposed to be there for about 18 months and uh, we were there for four years. So uh, we overextended our stay and Ashley's parents had heavy objections to staying. So and we get back. heavy objections to going. <laughs> <laughs> so what's on the agenda today for training? Great question. So I just started working with uh, Big Laws a couple of days ago. Uh, so today's going to be a... Sorry. Come here. Come here. Um, today's going to be a heavy deadlift session, but a, a lighter session relative to where I was starting my heavy deadlifts, uh, which is sort of what I need from a coach, is someone to hold me back uh, as much as anything. I think the biggest issue that athletes can make, and even coaches who are athletes themselves, who program for themselves, is you start with the end goal in mind, and you reverse engineer and try to do what you think you need to that day to stay on track for the end goal, when there should be a lot more consideration around um, the process to get to the end goal rather than the end goal itself. And that's why I reached out to him, because I have, on July 9th, I have the Strongman Classic, on August 6th, I have the Giants Live World Open and World Deadlift Championship. On August 13, 14, I have the Shaw Classic in Denver, uh, which I'm going to be doing the Giants Live World Open, traveling Ireland for six days, flying out on Friday into Denver Friday night and competing Saturday, Sunday in Denver. So that's going to be a disaster. Hopefully not, but probably will be. Um, and then... Uh, Canada's Strongest Man is two weeks after the Shaw Classic. So I have a, a huge schedule. And that's sort of why I need someone to hold me back as much as anything because you can't go through that schedule full out effort, full out intensity the whole time. Um, so I'm really excited to see where we go. Uh, and I'll definitely work with him through World's Strongest Man next year. And hopefully uh, we can work my way up to the podium. Bam. Should we use this as an opportunity to segue kind of to the stuff at the gym or is there more that we want to show around? No, I think I think that's perfect. Two things always in the car. My Cerberus bag with, with every piece of kit I have so I'm ready to train whatever. Uh, and my golf clubs. You look like you're freaking putting on more size since I first met you. Nope. No one says that, but no. No? no? I, I've been within five pounds since I got back to Canada. Wow. Good for you, man. What's on the menu for today? Uh, we got two singles, one at uh, 375, one at 400, then triple back downs. So we're starting the day preparing for World Deadlift Champs, then we're going back downs for the Strongman Classic uh, and working on the axle. Uh, so getting the pulls in, then just doing some uh, general preparedness type stuff afterwards to be able to, uh, to be able to sustain my general fitness, general strength throughout the four competitions I have. When do you normally start to belt up and suit up and everything? Um, I only suit up really when I need to, or if it's by design. And um, I normally, I start with nothing, then I'll go to my straps first, and I'll do that either at 220 or 270. If it's, a, if it's a lighter day, I'll go up to 270, no straps, to get a bit of grip work in. If it's a heavier day and I don't want to burn myself out, I'll put them on at 220. Uh, the suit goes on in the high 300s normally. Um, usually, when I figure I'm, I'm just incapable of lifting it raw, or just capable of lifting it raw, sorry. Um, that way, you don't need to rely on the suit to do the work on the full set. You can sort of build your way into the suit after, um, after you put in a reasonable effort raw.
Got those weights carefully secured on there. <laughs> That's right. Very particular person. So you can see how easy those go on. That's nice. Should not be that way. Uh, Just strap and then I'll walk it up my legs. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, wow. Uh, I need you in Wales. I'll take me to fucking <laughs> Cardiff. I'll go. That's pretty good, actually. Alright, just there's good. So that moved really well, but I know my hips weren't low enough. I know that that would have been sticky close to the top if that was 420 or 430. And uh, you know, I just need to keep trusting the suit and sitting down into it. But the suit today around my hips feels miles better than it felt uh, last week. So really positive. Whenever the suit goes on, I'm kind of thinking, you're hedging your bets of how much you can get down to the bar, how painful that's gonna be. How'd that feel? How'd that move? Uh, okay. Okay. Just need to get used to this suit, that's all. Uh, but, starting in a good spot. 400 kilos moving like that, you figure I could probably pull somewhere between 435 and 445 if I had to. As I get more and more used to the suit. Um, yeah, I can virtually guarantee high 400s and uh, I, I'm pretty confident uh, 505 will be on the cards. Confidence is up today from where it would have been last week, so yeah. Just like that, we are coming to a wrap with today's training session. How'd it go? Final thoughts. Good session today. Uh, things to work on always, uh, but in a good spot to keep pushing forward. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. There'll be uh, different workouts, different content each week, uh, covering a different part of my life. So thanks a lot, guys. I uh, will speak to you soon.